Hello, everybody. Welcome to Colorado Springs Sustain a Fest 2018. We're here with Larry Stebbins, the founder of Pikes Peak Urban Gardens. And Larry, we're just going to ask you to take a few minutes. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the organization and what your role is and uh, what the event is all about today. Sure. Um, well. This is the second season for SustainaFest, and we're part of the city's uh, efforts here to promote sustainability. Um, our effort, of course, is um, teaching people how to grow their own food. And we do that through our organization, Pikes Peak Urban Gardens. And we build community gardens around the area. We've built uh, a couple dozen already, and most of them we turn over to the neighborhoods. This new one that we have here is Mid Shooks Run Community Garden. This is our latest one that just finished up. And we're already full up. We already have uh, all the people um, have rented beds, and they'll be growing their own food, and we'll be uh, teaching them how to do it. And uh, Dave Falasco with Dome Creations, as you can see here, has donated the use of this greenhouse, which will also be a learning tool for the folks here in the community. Um, they'll be growing and starting their seedlings on shelves here and, of course, in planted beds. And that's going to be another opportunity for us to teach people how they can grow, and maybe we can sell a few domes for Dave here because um, they're really amazing system as you can see it's cool outside we're toasty warm in here and there's no extra heat this is uh, completely off the grid and so uh, we're happy to be here and uh, we hope to build uh, continue to build community gardens throughout this city because it's sorely needed as soon as we build them they get filled up so uh, we're, we're hoping that continue that effort and uh, we have a blog site and it's free so I don't mind saying that it's called thegardenfather.com and people can visit to see what we do here what I do on a daily basis in the garden because I want to continue to educate people and share what others have learned too in the garden well put larry now as magical as this is we understand that this entire event wasn't magical in coming together it was very impressive as we approached the facilities and i'm sure things are going to be looking mighty green around here about midsummer but tell me about when this got started at this location and the different uh organizations that were involved to, to help pull this thing together well about two years ago um the city called me up uh, ryan trujillo and he said uh larry would you uh could you use these two built one of these buildings and maybe build a garden around them that we see across the street here from this garden and uh, i said to ryan i said uh uh, it, it, it doesn't lend itself to that. I says, but, uh, you know, I'd, I'd love to lease some office space because those buildings are vacant. And he says, well, uh, we got talking and um, one thing led to another. And then Ryan and myself, we put together um, an idea for these two buildings here to have a sustain -a center to bring like-minded organizations together uh, to collaborate and communicate with each other to help promote sustainability. Kids on Bikes, uh, Trails and Open Space Coalition, Colorado Springs Food Rescue was part of it. They've since moved out. Um, the Children's Museum is, is in here as well. So we've got a number of organizations, and it's really a lot of fun working with them. So uh, that's where it is today, and we hope it continues on for many years to come. So tell me, would you say this is a little bit like a co-op in that uh, each participant that wants to grow kind of uh, puts in their own work and uh, reaps their own harvest? Well, there's, there's two things here. Um, one is across the street with the Sustaina Center, which is where, we're, where our offices are. This right here is a community garden, which is separate. This is what Pikes Peak Urban Garden manages. And outside we have 4x8 and some 4x12 uh, inch or feet raised bed gardens. And people in the community will lease those for a year and for a small fee and that helps pay the water bill and that's just just about takes care just about a break even they get to grow their own food and they get to keep their own food now if they want to share it with others that's their business but this is to bring community together basically to grow their own food so that's what this is working out and people will get to know each other just like today we had a huge gathering of the people for the first time meeting each other and uh and, and getting to know each other as their fellow gardeners so it's going to be exciting this summer as it starts to come together well, it looks like it's going to be uh, a great live event. Uh, it looks like they're starting up the live music over here, and uh, obviously we have food vendors here as well that are going to draw people in. Uh, we uh, picked up on the aroma as well as the beautiful yep. visuals as we came in and the, the wonderful flowers that are in here that did just fine in about a... Probably five degrees below freezing last night uh, with, a, with a head north wind that uh, really was pretty chilly. But in here, uh, as you said, it's very, very toasty. Uh, just got to ask you, Larry, what would you say is the, the most impressive feature to you personally about the geodesic dome? Well, one is it's off. The, it, it goes up quick. Uh, you know, Dave, <laughs> Dave was here and he said, I'll have it up by noon. 
showed up that and, and he did <laughs> so uh yeah there's a little little things like getting the door on and everything else takes a little extra time but the best part about this is that you don't need any outside energy inputs beside the sun and uh, without any additional heat here you can grow things from well early into the spring well into the late fall early winter that's without any additional heat and the way you make that work even better is you can see we have some uh, water drums here that'll be filled with water to help moderate but you can see there's no additional heat here and it's really toasty warm in here and um, it, it's probably the most economical way to grow and since it's so easy to build and so quick and so affordable that it's to me it's uh, I don't know it, it just seems to make make good sense thanks Larry appreciate your time today good job Thank you.